In today's video, we travel to the wild mountains of southwestern China in Sichuan province in search of a rare yellow lady slipper orchid, Cypripedium farari, known from only four localities in the entire world. As you can see, they live in these steep, rough canyons. This plant is at home on these rocky limestone cliff faces, uh, usually without any tree cover and few other companion plants, mostly just grasses and small forbs. Flowering begins with the summer monsoonal rains, and the day that we were there, it was raining very hard, making an already treacherous place even more so. The plants grow directly out of this limestone scree, so figure that the pH is fairly high, at least 7.0, perhaps as high as 7.5. The lip is unique for the genus, being both highly inflated at its base and yet pulled up at the top, giving it a vase-like look. Also, the dentation on the lip orifice is quite unique and only seen in a few species, such as Cecropedium himalayacum. Flower color between clones is fairly consistent with the sepals and petals always being striated with a dark brown. The lip is usually a pale yellow to cream color also with some pale maroon banding. And as you can see the staminode lip orifice and interior lip is striated and splotched with maroon red. Well, after busting our butts, uh, going up the hill, down here near the bus, yeah. we just found this double-flowered farari with a seed pod. We didn't have to climb up there and risk our necks, no, it was right here by the bus. Isn't that funny? My God. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video of this extremely rare Cypripedium species in the wild. Uh, due to the collecting pressure that this plant is under, I cannot divulge the exact location of where we found the plants. So instead, I'm going to leave you with this last bit of video showing a similar valley in the same general region in which this plant lives. With any luck, these plants will continue to grace these hillsides for centuries to come.